Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. On my previous video, we got the engine started, but we were having overheating issues and we also weren't getting hot heat on the heater. So in this video, I went and purchased the proper funnel to bleed the coolant system. I've always been used to just bleeding the coolant system just by topping up the coolant and then giving a few blurps. But in this case, since the whole block was completely drained, the whole coolant lines, the whole heater hose were all drained, this funnel was what helped solve the issue. In the, uh, my previous video, I went and also bought a fail-safe thermostat, which is correct, which is the one that's correctly in there right now. I guess if I had bleed it properly, I wouldn't have needed to change out my thermostat, so it's all good. I'll go ahead and keep the thermostats for spear. But in this case, I went ahead and bleed it properly, and after about 15-20 minutes, it did work, and I also got hot heat. So enjoy this video. I got the new uh, funnel bleeder and from what it looks like coolant is now getting inside the block because um, obviously it sucked some coolant in <laughs> um, I felt the heater core hose <coughs> the two heater core hose they were completely filled with coolant I can feel the pressure inside it wasn't hot or anything like that and also I'm not getting any hot heat yet I know the uh, I need the, I know the two cooling holes they're route the correct way. So right now I'm not getting any heat, and also it's not overheating, so that's good. <laughs> Yesterday it was like overheating right before the red, and whenever it got right before the red, I shut it off just in case. So right now we're just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out why why I'm not getting heat right now. This is a very cool air right now. This is just like the regular air outside, so no heat right now, and uh, this is on full blast. Earlier, it was really steaming and it was bubbling really hard, but right now it's really calm. <laughs> you can see right here. So right now, engine's at regular temperature. And um, I'm just trying to figure out why it's not getting any heat right now at all. It's really weird. I'm not sure if that's uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna accept any more coolant. I think this might be the max. So I might go ahead and close up that cap and see if there's a difference, if it makes any difference as far as heat. And uh, we'll see what happens. There's still a little bit of bubble air in there every time I press this hose. Every time I press that a little bit, a few bubbles here and there go out. So these two heater core, the two heater hose right here, they're really important. So this one is warm. This one has coolant. They're, they're both filled with coolant because they're freaking solid. They're not empty or anything like that. This one has coolant. And this one is not hot or anything at all. It's really warm, so I'm not sure if it's the right one. I can't, I'm pretty sure I don't have them switch around. Yeah, they're not switch or anything like that. Hmm, interesting. Guys, sometimes, sometimes I get so worked up doing these things and sometimes I forget the simplest thing. <coughs> so for sure, we were able to bleed the cooling system with that new funnel. So I highly recommend you guys buy one of those. So we got the cooling bleed out and then I was, I still wasn't getting hot heat. So I decided to back it up and just drive it. And after I, after I step on the gas pedal, kaboom, there was hot heat. So right now it's blown hot heat and we have good temperature good temperature man so excited so right now we have the whole cooling system um solved cooling system solved so for anybody that's doing this i was filling the coolant with just a regular coolant funnel uh i highly recommend you guys use the um the, the coolant the coolant funnel <coughs> bleeder that helped a lot and then also you gotta give it some gas i was wondering why i wasn't getting any a hot air and i guess there was no cool i guess i wasn't you're supposed to blurp it i guess and i didn't do that so no just a quick brain fart so right now temperatures are good i have no uh no tack yet i'm gonna go ahead and tackle the 
power steering. The power steering is still leaking because for some reason it's leaking at the uh, manjo bolts. So I'm assuming it might have got caught up on something or those two crush washers. The two copper crush washers are bad. I have two of them already. I bought some new ones already, so we're going to slap that in. <laughs> Once I get that fixed up, I'll be done for the engine bay for now and I'll do the rest later. I want to go ahead and start doing the inside, getting the ECU mount up getting the ECU mount up and then also I'm gonna replace this dashboard here you guys see how it's been cut I'm gonna replace it with rusty red I'm gonna replace the glove box that's kind of broken and then I'm also gonna do the tack mod so we can have the tack and then also my oil pressure gauge it broke the oil pressure gauge broke because when I was doing my ADD delete on the front actuator do you guys remember that a couple months ago like six three four months ago when i was doing that i pulled the wire i i accidentally pulled the wire for the oil pressure sending unit and i guess it tripped it so if this gauge ever breaks or something like that or pops you have to replace it so i have the spare one from rusty wrist so we're going to replace the tack or we're going to add the 10,000 resistor on the tack and then we're also going to replace that and hopefully this works because i do like seeing my oil pressure gauge and really excited so just for the record our three four swap has been done at 240,000 and 372 miles i'm gonna keep that for the record and also put that on the timing belt so yeah really excitement so temperatures are good right now i think i might go and take it for a quick drive around the block here and uh we got we got good heat heat is really hot this the heat is much hotter than it was before so i think when i had my 3.0 I think I didn't bleed my radiator properly too because I think there's still air in it because when I had my 3.0 it wasn't blowing hot heat and this one here is blowing some super hot heat which is which is what I like so much better now.